previously. Ah. 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 I said, turn around. Stop! Keep your hands off them! 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 That's what's right. I have a coward. Alright, alright. Welcome back to Russell Games Plays. I want to play Xenogears. Part 4. I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a comment, subscribe, and like the video. Oh, really? Son of a biscuit. This shot kind of reminds me of Tien's um, Kianzan. And I'm gonna save because all that running around is unnecessary.
Okay. Alright. <laughs> Not all this time. Maybe? Okay. On with the story! Ellie! Ellie! A fairy! Ellie! Are you alright? Darn! She's unconscious! To the rescue. Hey, I have been searching for you. Here, you could use this. Hey, hold on a second. To tell me I can use it is one thing. Oh, wait, damn it. Doc, I have a favor to ask. I will defeat this monster. But if it looks like I'll go out of control like last time, then shoot me! Faye, let us pray that won't happen. She fell on Ellie. Ah, oh, dang. Faye, are you all right? Yeah, I guess so. That fight with the Rancar was remarkable. Rancar? Rancar. An ordinary gear could not defeat that monster, and you certainly keep yourself in good shape. Why did you bring this here, Doc? This? You mean well, Tull. 
Well, Tom, this is the gear that destroyed our village. Why did you bother bringing it here? I never want to see another gear again. I understand how you must feel. But in order to protect yourself, you need a certain degree of strength. Even more since we are being pursued. I agree that a certain degree of strength is needed for self-defense. And if it weren't for this gear here, Ellie and I'd be in that Rankar's stomach right now. <laughs> Rankar, not Rankar. But its power goes beyond what is necessary. Does one really need the power to destroy everything? I don't need that kind of power. I just hate gears. Faye. Using power or being used by power, is that not a problem with the hearts? If humans do not use their power for wrong, it can be a good thing. I believe such power can help us. In that respect, I know you will be fine. It sure helped you out this time. Am I right? I want to believe that. But something is holding me back. This gear. Well, whatever. At least Ellie is safe now. She seems to have come to. Huh? I am Shitan, a friend of Faye's. You almost did not make it. If Faye had not have helped you, I hate to think what may have happened. But I was not too pleased with his rashness in trying to take on that Rancor with just his bare fists. Fists? Well, I'm glad that you were able to find a use for what I brought you. Let us just say we are buying what the Kislev army left behind. Oh. Thank you, Faye. This makes twice. Don't mention it. I'll just put it on your tab. It is getting dark. Let us make camp now and start out early tomorrow. The both of you look tired and I need to make some repairs on our friend here. It is no use. The knee actuator and bypass circuit are both ruined. The actuator can be fixed, but the circuit needs to be replaced. Oh, having trouble sleeping now? Yeah. I imagine you would. You have had quite a day. This is the machine Faye used when the village was attacked. There was another machine left sitting on the outskirts of the village. Nilbaya das Legus. I hope I said that right. It was yours, right? Just as I thought. The missing pilot from the gear that made an emergency landing in Lahan. And the mysterious woman found wandering lost in the forest are actually one and the same person. Judging from your uniform, I would also say you were with the military. The military. Am I correct? How? Who are you? I checked the ID tags of the soldiers who died on the attack on the Han. The design on the tags and the design on your uniform, there is the same. Do not worry, they were given proper burials. But they may not have been too pleased to die on a foreign land. Maybe. Does Faye know about you? I don't think he has realized yet. Most likely, Faye knows nothing of the world outside of Lahan. I see. So how come? In any case, it is best if we do not pry into each other's past anymore. But... Let us just say that I know a little more about the world than most do. Anyway, Ali, I have a favor I must beg you to do. What is it? Go straight ahead and you will come to a road. Then just keep going. 
Would you please leave us while Faye is still asleep? Unfortunate things keep happening around Faye. I would like to protect him if possible. I do not want him caught up in any vain struggles. I am also saying this for your benefit. Ellie, you do not belong here. Go back to your family. Um, I... Do not worry. I will not tell Faye what your true identity is. I will. Just tell them you went to meet up with your family. No, it's not that. I did something terrible to him. So I want to apologize. Something terrible? Faye told me it was our fault your village was destroyed. Faye kept saying, if only they hadn't come. Then I called Faye a coward, because he was trying to escape from the responsibility. But in fact it was me who was trying to escape from taking the blame. If I hadn't crash landed there, they would have all still be living peacefully now. All those innocent people wouldn't have been caught up in that tragedy. But I accused Faye. You are a rarity. I do not expect your people would ever think like that. To your people, surface dwellers are nothing more than domesticated animals, are they not? The shepherds about to control over the surface dwelling lands. Possessing the right to give life and death into them as they see fit. Exactly. Yet you seem to feel responsibility towards Fae and the villagers. Why is that? I don't know myself. At Jugan, I was taught that surface dwellers were stupid and base. And that is why we have to control them. But... But upon meeting Fae, something about him made you feel differently. Yes, he's no different than we are. In fact, he seemed more powerful. He possesses something. Something we don't. He also risked his life to save me. Twice. Most of your people would feel ashamed of receiving such an act. Yet you are grateful to Faye. It's probably because of my father. He had an open mind to surface dwellers. My nanny was a surface dweller. No one knew about her though. Besides, I am the same as Faye. The same? No, nothing. Never mind. Hmm. I think I understand. I'm sorry. After just saying we should just we should not pry. It is my nature, you know. My wife says I'm too persistent and that I talk too much. But personally, I do not think I talk too much. It is probably best if you return home to your country. You really should not be here. I'll return to headquarters, but then what? You're worried. Yes. Worrying is natural. Even I used to worry once, you know. Oh, Shitan. Anyway, let me handle what to tell Faye. You'd better get it. Go now. Is Ellie gone yet? Oh, so you were awake? Yes, I woke up midway, so I only heard part of what you two were discussing. Ellipsy. Ellie. So that's what she is. Faye, she is... I know. It's not Ellie's fault. What happened to the village is all my fault. I took out all my pent-up feelings on Ellie. I'm the one who should apologize. Faye, do not blame yourself. It was not your fault either. Either. It was not your fault either. You were just trying to protect the village. Thanks, Doc. 
By the way, how is everyone from the village going? How is everyone from the village going? Oh, yeah. Do not worry. Yuri's taking care of them. I told her to leave soon and take them all to a certain place. They should be safe for a while, so you just worry about yourself for now. Okay, Doc. Now to think what we should do next. Shall we leave this forest and head for the desert town of Dazil? We may learn what, Ave, what Ave and Kislev are up to. Not to mention getting some parts for Weltall. The leader of Ave is not going to sit back and let the other night's fiasco go by unpunished. providing large-scale military aid to the Kingdom of Ave. They showed up in Ignis several months ago. Until then, Ave was being routed by Kislev. But with Gebler's help, they have managed to regain half their losses. They are now expanding their territory, territory and gathering resources buried in the ruins. I've heard the village elders talk about it. Is Ellie a part of that? Quite possibly so. Their group has superior technology and power. It is rumored they are here solely to get the resources in the ruins. I am surprised they are using something as powerful as that ship. It must be to suppress the recent border skirmishes. So they are fighting the Kislev Empire? Yes. It seems they have found new ruins on the northern edge of Ave. Those ruins are under a 500 year old temple. Three weeks ago, Kislev took over those ruins. Most likely, they are fighting over that. I see. Where the hell am I going? Alright, looks like I'm going over there. Let me save some on the world map. Since I'm on the world map, I'm gonna save. Stun has a hell of more life than me. Ha! 
freaking Tatooine. I mean, um, not Tatooine. Ah, scared. I forget. This is Dazel? Doslin? Yes, that is right. The desert town of Dazel. Does he? Does he? This town's lively. This is the center for all our excavations in Nave. People come from all over Ignis to try and find the resources buried in the ruins around here. We should be able to find what both Ave and Kislev are up to here. And we also have to gather the things we need to repair Welltall. Repair Welltall? Yes, we must exchange the broken parts to fix Welltall. Otherwise, it will not be able to function at all. There is an ethos workshop in the southern part of this town. Let us go that there. Yeah. Okay, Doc. Let's check this place out then. Fire. There are burglars out looking for treasure in the desert ruins. Shivers! Oh! I just want my pants! You better be careful too! <laughs> that was... That was perfect. I didn't actually expect that. Get away from me, you wet your pants. And I climb up the ladder. There's a bunch of thieves out in the desert called Sandman, so you gotta equip yourself properly. If you don't, you only have yourself to blame. Hmm, prices are a little high, but we need these things to cross the desert. Sandman. Welcome. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Bar. Okay, I don't want to go to the bar. Where is this? Huh? That's amazing. They're doing digging right next to this town too? This is Ave. This is an Ave run excavation site. The machines and gears around here are valuable resources that could turn the tide of the war. They are indispensable to the war effort. Anyway, Faye, let us move on. We have more pressing matters to do than taking in the sites. Oh no! Oh, I freaking went in. I hope this is the right place. It's not, huh? Hey, I haven't seen you around here before. Don't think that if you cause trouble, you'll get away with it. We're Ave Army Guards. Remember that. We're out of the gear parts in the warehouse. I'm gonna have to order more from the Ethos headquarters. Okay, that's... Yeah, I'm in the wrong place. Get out.
workshop. I think it's this. I think. So this is the Ethos Workshop that I'm talking Yes, the Ethos Workshops are the only places that officially repair gears. Let us see if we can get the parts we need to fix Welltall here. As they say, time is money. So we should do whatever that we can do as soon as we are able to. <laughs> that was a bad camera angle. Which one should I talk to? Green or blue? Let's talk to green first. Please don't touch it. It's being repaired. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh, you gonna chase me out or what? Okay, I guess we'll have to... Oh, hey, look at that. We can go in here. Huh? How can we help you? So it's bothering you. Our gear is broken down, so I would like to buy some parts to fix it. Tough luck, huh? Can you tell me what what make of parts you are after? Yes, we are hoping to replace an X29 model injection bypass circuit. X29 model injection circuit? That's only used on the latest military models. We don't keep those kind of parts in stock here. You can only get such special parts by placing an order at the Ethos headquarters. This workshop is only for the repair of civilian gears. I see. Sorry to bother you. Sorry that we can't help you. Okay, get get off me. Please do not touch it. It's being repaired. Doc, do you have a moment? I need to talk to you. Yes, of course, Faye. So, Faye. What did you want to talk to me about? Well, Doc, it's about Welltall. We can't find the parts we need, so is it alright if we just don't fix it? Do not repair it. What is the problem, Faye? Well, we've been able to come as far as Dazzle on our own. Dazzle on our own. So doesn't that show that we don't need Welltall as much as we thought? Actually, I've been thinking that once things cool down, I want to go back to Lahan and help rebuild. That's all I feel I can do now. I see. If that is what you want, Faye, then fine. But I think we should try and move Welltold as far away from there as possible. Move it away? But why do we need to do that, Doc? It is only my speculation, but... I suspect the incident that evening occurred because the Gelber Special Forces stole the kids' lab military gear. Military gear. Special Force? You mean Ellie's group? Exactly. When I examined the broken gear in the village, I realized that Gelber Pilot was riding a kids' lab gear. It must have had some new technology involved in it for the kids' lab army to send pursuit forces after it. New technology? I suspect that the Gebler Force was out to steal the new experimental gear. I am sure news of the Special Forces failure has reached the capital. They will be investigating the Honda area to reclaim whatever parts of the new gear that they can find. That they can find. Hold on, Doc. Would the Kislev army still be in Lahan too? Most probably. And in that case, there will be the conflict between our base inspection team and Kizla's pursuit troops. If they find what we have hidden Welltall, the armies will fight over who gets Welltall. And right near Lahan, too. So to avoid any problems, we should move Welltall somewhere else right away. But we can't fix it in order to move it. Right, but staying here will solve nothing. 
unfortunately, this is the center of all excavation work in the country, in this country. There's bound to be some information on where we can find parts. Anyway, the fear is often worse than the danger itself. We should not let such fears hold us back. This is a sand buggy. That is it, Faye. I have thought of a good way to get the parts we need for Welltop. First, we have got to find out who will rent us this buggy. Sand buggy? A sand buggy is a special car made for the desert. Its tires do not sink into the sand, so it is a must for long trips into the desert. So then, Doc, what do you plan on doing with this sand buggy? Well, leave it to me. Just wait and you see. Okay. Alright. So, what do you want to buy? Ooh, weapons. No thanks. I'd like to buy the sand buggy. Can I steal it? Civilian worker gears have no chance against military working gears and excavating. But even if we had a military gear, we wouldn't be able to operate it. Okay. Hmm. Never saw you before. You want to rent out a sand buggy too, huh? Yes, that is right. Do you have any we can rent right now? Of course. The keys are in the ignition. You can take it now. Well then, if I may. Hey, I'm going to the desert to search for parts for Welltop. Going to the desert, Doc? Are you going to excavate some ruins or something? The Kislev and Ave armies are confronting each other in the desert all the time. There is talk that their forces often break into battles over the ruins. What does that have to do with the gear? If I search the battlefields for the wrecks of such army gear, I should be able to find the parts we need. Besides, well, it's all is the Kislev gear, so we need parts from Kislev gears. But, Faye, you're such a warrior. Think, things have a way of working out. You do not need to worry so much. Why not go kill some time at the bar until I get back? Doc. Hey, are you letting him go out there all alone? Lots of fights break out in the desert. It's a real dangerous place. I forgot what voice I gave him. I've heard about a group of pirates raiding around attacking people on a sand cruiser. You really shouldn't let him go out there by himself. Well, thanks for worrying me more. Uh, what is this? What is this guy? Come here. Hmm. You look tired. You can stay overnight at the bar, so why don't you go rest there a little bit? Traveling all worn and tired might just get you killed. Mm -hmm. Alright, dude, get out of the way. Alright, so let me go out. I'm gonna save real quick. Yeah, I probably could have saved at the bar. Get out the way, get out the way. And I passed it. Where's the bar? Here. Save point, give me save point. Ah, oh, come on. Are you sure? I'll stay. Oh, it's 
what's going on here. I told him not to drown in his sorrows, but he wouldn't listen, would he? Talk to me. Bah, those, those fools. Just because they can fix gears, they think they can act all high and mighty. How do they expect us to pay so much? I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. Look at this guy. Nick, where's your friend? There's a war on in the desert and he just goes wandering off there? If your friends are important to you, then don't let them get away. Especially if it's a lady friend. <laughs> I hope I remember to do that voice later. Blood of fear, I'll be ill, I'll jerky, and cheese plates. I need to save. I need to save points. I need to save points. Rust the game, see you next episode.